What's up, boys and girls? Leaf are back with another custom. What's up, boys and girls? Leaf are back with a pair of customs, which is a first, actually. I decided to put these together because they always are together. And I'm pretty sure I've done like a pair of customs like that before, but I did them separately. But this time we're doing a double custom showcase. And this is from the awesome series Girls Last Tour. Really enjoy the anime. Haven't read the manga, I never do. Unless I can get my hands on them physically. Uh, I don't really enjoy reading on the web. But go check it out. Like, I've had a great time watching this. It's sad it's coming to an end. One of the best this year. 2017. In my list at least. Cheeto and Yuri. Really fun characters. You know, you got the smart one. You got the dumb one. You got the careful one. You got the reckless one. Anyway, let's start this off with... Cheeto. So Cheeto must have been one of the hardest customs I have ever made. Which is kind of hard to actually believe, considering looking at what I have made in the past. But this kind of hairstyle is really difficult to handle in LEGO situations. I tried to puzzling together so many different kind of things, so I decided to sculpt an egg piece, which I glued on these two ponytails right there. And that is really the best solution. And the hood. That was another thing, since she was gonna have her hair going down like this. That was kinda tricky to actually figure that out as well. So I decided to combine this hair neck piece with the hood. So wherever this piece goes, this piece follows. We'll take a look at that after we've seen the figure. And then you will get a better look on the uh, torso itself. First off, I gotta say I really like her face. like. This is as spot on as it gets. But yeah, that expression is just spot on. I really like it. So I was kind of worried with this figure. How I was going to end up looking. And the end result, I couldn't be happier, to be honest. With the face. And everything else. Like, this figure is... 10 out of 10. Really just gave it my all. Because I really like this show. And this character design. And the sculpt as well. I added a little bit more to the helmet. I don't know if it got a little bit too big. It was even bigger before. I recently sanded it down before I decided to shoot the video. And then moving on to the torso, which is a piece of paper as you can see. Since they wear coats. And this was just a way to not having to paint an entire torso this kind of green. That was one thing. And I didn't have to paint the entire waist piece green. So I took a white waist piece and just painted that part right there. On her left arm she got that emblem with the cross and the dot. And then she has some black linings right there. And then a thick black line going around the entire coat. And then just some pockets as you can see. So this is supposed to be the shirt they wear underneath the jacket. This dark green part right here. I don't know if it appears dark green on the camera. It's kind of hard to see but yeah it's dark green. And then on the legs I could have done some wrinkles here and there if I wanted to. But I simply didn't. Then she just wear some brown shoes, some winter shoes. Okay, so now we've seen the entire figure, so now I'm going to show you the hood. Pop that off, and that's the way her face looks like, and this is the way the sculpt looks like. Pop this off, like so. And this one just popped off, like that. And that's the torso, as you can see. Just some pockets. Nothing too special. And here you got the piece. This is the way it looks like. Oh shoot, I really didn't even think about that. It's just the hair pieces that are keeping it together. I really didn't think about that. Oh yeah, that's the hood. So this was just a separate piece by itself. But the hood would be pretty flimsy, so that's why I decided to glue those together. And I think that was a wise decision. Because this was quite a project. But I think it was worth it, since I really like this show. So let's keep going. So here we got Yuri, and I gotta say, getting this green color, get the getting it right, like, every single time, was kind of annoying. Since I didn't paint them at the same time, and they're slightly off, just slightly. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but they're slightly off. This one kind of turned out a bit uh, lighter, I suppose. They're just slightly off, but doesn't bother me. 
in the slightest. So let's just go through this figure. Try to make the same hood as I did before. It's not entirely the same, but I kind of forgot how I did it the first time around. Plus I need to sculpt this white fur onto it, which I really like the texture of, by the way. And then I decided to add her zipper right there. Kind of big, but whatever. So you got a close up on her, and she's got the emblem on her helmet instead of the arm. And this helmet was way more annoying to sculpt compared to Cheetos, compared to Cheeto, because hers was just round. This one was just a little bit more work to it. And the fact that I had to paint it, you know, the, the hair and the emblem, so I had to varnish that, you know, kind of annoying. Didn't have to do it on the other one. But same thing here. I really like how the faces turn out. They're spot on. Like the characteristics are just spot on. I really like how her eyes turn out. And I didn't have to struggle with the mouths either. You can see the texture right here on the hood. And the hood kind of turned out a little bit darker as well right there. You can see. Might just be in the back though. I was filling something in I think. And I kind of rushed the paint I suppose. Really didn't take my time to get the right color. But it's fine. It's it's fine. Her torso, just three pockets. Then she got the fur on the arms, and then she got the fur at the end of the coat. So that was pretty much the unique thing with this figure. All the fur she's got on her jacket. And then the legs are the same. Same color on the boots and everything. No difference there. And here you got Yuri's hood piece. Since she didn't have hair going down in front of her torso, obviously this one was easier to make. So yeah, they're pretty much identical. So that's pretty much all there's to show and talk about for her as well. Although, although, you can give her a rifle. Let's give this brown musket. I think it looks good on her. Since I don't have any like brick arms weapons or anything like that, I think this one looks pretty good on her. And as for Cheeto, I was looking for a specific Lego book that I had that was from a Harry Potter set, but I couldn't find it. I was pretty sure I knew where it was, but I couldn't find it. And I just think that would look pretty good as well. So she would have a book, she would have a rifle, but couldn't find it. And of course they don't have the vehicle, which I really want to make. Like you don't even know how much I want to make that to make it look like a set. That would have been so awesome. Unfortunately, I don't have the pieces. But I'm very happy with these figures, and I hope that someday I will make their vehicle and kind of make it look like a set. I don't know. That's what I wish. Might just forget this whole thing along the way. We'll see. Only time will tell. And that pretty much wraps it up, I think, for these two and the video. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye.